Chef Buck here and today we are going to cook up some cheese. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking cheese, that sounds pretty healthy, but can we make it healthier? Why don't we fry it up? Fried cheese, or as I like to call it, queso del diablo. Now my sister gave me this cheese right here, which is called queso para frier. I don't know, I'm sure I'm butchering that, but it is frying white cheese. The reason she got turned on to it was because she gets takeout food sometimes from a Dominican restaurant and they, they have a fried cheese side dish there that she really likes. So she wanted me to give it a try. And I looked at my local market and I couldn't find this. But then I took a look at the cheese that we usually buy. This is just a queso blanco or sometimes you'll see it queso fresco. And it's just a white cheese and it is suitable for frying. I think it's just the packaging that's different on these two cheeses. I think the actual cheese is identical because the nutritional uh, information is exactly the same on either one. So I've already opened this one up and we've been eating this this week. But I'm going to go ahead and try this one uh, today and I'll finish this one up as well. But I like to put some corn flour on it. And this is just a plain old corn flour. I usually have this on hand anyway because we make pupusas a lot. So corn flour is a great ingredient to have around. In fact, I'll link to our pupusa recipe if you want to give that a go. I'm just going to have a little bit of uh, chips with onion and a little bit of mole on there. But you can have a uh, fried cheese all by its lonesome or as a side dish with anything you like. But I'm going to heat up a skillet on medium heat. Now you can put too much oil in your skillet if you want and kind of deep fry it. You know, go hog wild. But I'm just going to give it a light spray. Because it doesn't take a lot to cook up this cheese. I mean, you don't have to cook cheese. I mean, you can eat cheese as it is. You know, we're just going to fry it so that it has kind of a nice light brown coating on it. Now you can cut this into whatever shape or size you like. I think about a quarter of an inch thick is plenty good. Now I've cut them super duper thin. That's not super duper thin, but that's pretty thin. But then it doesn't have the uh, juiciness that you want from a nice slice of cheese. Now you could cut the cheese thicker than, I shouldn't say cut the cheese, look at that, I'm 14 years old. But you could slice your cheese, you know, thicker than this if you liked, but then you know your colon might not like that, you know? Is cheese colon friendly? I don't think so. You gotta think about your colon. If you're eating a lot of cheese, you gotta think about your colon. I'm gonna say colon one more time. Colon. So I'll get a wee little bit of my corn flour, not a whole lot. It's gonna be a super duper light coating on this cheese. Like I said, you don't even have to use corn flour, but I just really enjoy the flavor of it. Just take the corn flour and lightly coat it on each side, then kind of knock it off. And it's not sticking on there entirely, but that's okay. It's no necesito. And then this one piece here, I won't even coat it all just to illustrate that it's not necessary. And here's my little cheese right here without the corn flour. And you just want to fry it up long enough on each side to get a nice little golden color on there. Here's my thin piece over here. And this is my piece right here that doesn't have any flour on it. It's darkening up a little faster than the other pieces. But other than that, it really doesn't look any different. And it's holding together just fine. You know, like I said, you don't need the corn flour uh, to hold the cheese together. The cheese will hold fine just by itself. Now, if you like cheese sticks, you know, like breaded cheese sticks, you know, that you get it like chilies or whatever, and you dip in the marinara sauce, you know, boom, you can make a version of that uh, just as easily right here, you know, without having to have a nice thick coating on your cheese. You know, you could do it without any kind of coating at all. Just dip those in some marinara sauce. You know, wolf down about a dozen of those. That sounds like a dietary disaster. The only drawback to this is it's so delicious and it cooks up so easily. If you're not thinking about it, again, you know, I'm going back to the colon. It's all part of the aging process. You know, once you get you know, creeping up on 60. Am I creeping up on 60? Once you reach a certain uh, point of wisdom in your life, you're just thinking about your colon a lot. And you really can cook this as long as you like until they get as dark as you want them to be. But that's all there is to frying up cheese. Sure doesn't take a lot of oil.
super duper easy peasy. They say what you eat on the first day of the year is what you're going to be eating for the rest of the year. But uh, let's hope that's not the case. Holds it together super duper well. I sort of feel like a seal at SeaWorld. I can't tell which one of these I didn't bread in flour. Maybe I already ate it. Definitely not this one. But, you know, make it with uh, the corn flour or without. You know, it's going to be good either way. It's going to look the same, obviously. I think it might be this one. Yeah, this is, this is the one without corn flour. Because I had corn flour in a skillet, it still has kind of a corn flour taste. But you can't go wrong either way. You know, if fried cheese sounds like a good idea to you, then, you know, talk to your therapist. But even after talking to your therapist, if it still sounds like a good idea, then give it a try. Super easy to make. It's going to go great with this little dish uh, that I'm making over here. Although, I will have already had three pieces before I put this together. And Camera Girl's not here to help me eat this. I don't know, I might have a rough night. But that's it. Boom. Give fried cheese a try. Or have a salad. You know, it's the beginning of the year. You know, these, these decisions you make now are very important. But uh, thanks for watching. You know, go over to MyFoodChannel.com and uh, check out all our recipes over there. Uh, subscribe if you like the video. And we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.